Evaluating speaker number four, distinguished Toastmaster, Jordy Hamilton. How many of you were moved, were touched by Blake's speech? Pretty much everyone in the room. What do we distill from this? A couple of things. Number one, always, always know your audience. You serve the audience. The audience isn't here for you to experiment and have fun. You're serving the audience every time you give a speech. Know them and give something that they want to digest. Number two, know why you speak. What was the purpose of this speech? The purpose was, at least, to inform. Many of you now know something about fellow Toastmasters here and gone that you didn't know before. Another purpose of this speech would be to entertain, and it was entertaining, was it not? Absolutely. I could talk to you about the mechanics of this speech. Blake is a virtuoso at that stuff. I mean, he had great use of the, the props, you know, dropping. I, I just love that. I, I thought I would eat some of them. I didn't know that they weren't for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> he had great audience engagement, starting with the question. He had vocal variety. He had descriptive language, feast and famine, fizzling out and so forth. He had humor. I thought, I thought it was marvelous. Suggestions or tweaks? Well, I am now in my 25th year and I've heard avalanche of marvelous speeches. Roy's Vegematic speech, Jeff's Mattress speech, Carmelo's 9-11 speech, and yet this, this is among my very favorite in all that time. I'm not going to make it better, but each of you will view it through your own lens. Like Rachmaninoff does a variation on a theme by Chopin. What would you do? One of the things you might do, Blake, is show us a picture of Maybe me at the wedding or you at Katrina, you know, in the wake. Also, open up your jacket and show us that precious big boy uniform where you used to work. I'm just kidding. I'm joking. <laughs> Folks, we are part of an immense organization and we wield great personal power. Use your power wisely, make a difference, and may the next ripple be yours. Thank you.